22 in a row here at home, but they did pick up a win last week on the road with Trey Ford at quarterback. And a glimpse of, I think, what is in the future for this football team with Trey Ford. Look, God gave him a lot of talent, and uh, and he's an extremely gifted athlete. Uh, Trey Ford, boy, he's gifted. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this kid put a lot of pressure on Ottawa's defense. Hey. Trey Ford had a nice ball game last week. Second and ten, Ford on the run again. This time he's going to throw far side of the field. He's got Lewis, and he will hang on for an Edmonton first down. Second completion of the game for Trey Ford. I want Trey Ford to keep his eyes downfield. It's exactly what he does on this. And keeps his eyes downfield, spots Lewis, and doesn't have to use his legs other than just to buy himself a half a more second. Make that throw, and he makes a nice one. Ford. Pressure in his face, goes over the middle, and Dunbar, and he holds it in. A heavy pop at the end of the play, but Dunbar hangs on. Watch, watch on the right side. Trey never really looks there, but he, he knifed it in there. Cario Brooks was trying to get there and just couldn't make it. Made the hit, nice hit, better throw by Trey Ford. Second and goal from the Ottawa 8. Edmonton looking to get on the board, take the lead. Ford with time, lots of time. Now he wants to take off. Down to the five, look into the end zone. Touchdown, Trey Ford. Rubs it in, and Edmonton strikes for the first time today. The defense do their thing, then pull it down and make it happen with what God gave you. Watch this. Eyes downfield, nice job. And then who it is, his speed. Oh, he took one false step. O'Claire can't make it. You mentioned Ottawa doesn't give up more than 70. On average, this season four, it's got about three. There you go. Deep. Now he's going to take off on the run. And look at this first Trey Ford. Down to the 45, down to 40 before he steps out of bounds. Don't force it. Get off of it. Look to your left. Look to your left. Go. Just go. And this is a nice angle. Oh, <laughs> clear. And he's losing it. He just kept kind of every stride. He's kind of losing a little more ground. And fortunately, the sidelines came when it did. Heck of an effort by 32 for Baltimore Rice. They need five more. Ford. Out to his left. Turn. Oh, little fake. Man. Opens things up. And that's going to be a first down for the elusive quarterback. He'll take his right foot and just open up. And he's out the gate. Now here he gets a little pump fake. Santos knocks in the air. And this little waltz to the sideline. And a Claire. Adam is escorting him out of bounds one more time. Team. Now Ford, out to his left, far side of the field, going back for it. There you go. Hanging on is Lewis, and he breaks the tackle. Eugene Lewis to the 10, and he's going to score. Touchdown, Edmonton. Late here in the first half, Trey Ford finds Gino Lewis, and he does the rest. Trusting the receivers downfield. If you have him in fantasy, 21.2 fantasy points. Looking for a big chunk here down the field. Got it all the way to the 20. It's caught to the 10, to the 5. No, they'll get him out of bounds. Just shy of his first CFL touchdown. 2022 draft. Evan Cobb all alone trying to get to the end zone for the first time. Just two catches for 20 yards. Second, finish off that play. Second and six for Ford. Finds some space and he's got a first down. This time he'll slide and take Edmonton down inside the Ottawa 45. Second and eight, Ford. Three man rush. Over the middle, wide open. It's Gino Lewis again. Down to the 40 before he stops. And watch the Red Seas part right here. He steps up in that lane. Keeps his eyes downfield. There's Eugene, 87. How does he run in Scott Free? Well, his own defense. He's finding a soft spot, and the quarterback saw it too. Big time play. Exactly what the Elks needed. Takes some of the momentum back. Second and ten for Edmonton. Ford on the run. Out to his left. Throws over the middle again. Complete for a first down. Back into the hands of Manny Arsenal. Just skate to your left, keep your eyes downfield as we ask you to. Look back, side arm it, find a little soft spot, and Manny's moving the sticks. 
things open up when he gets out of the pocket, don't they? That's organic. That's what happens. God's giving that ability to use it, and you will wear people out for a long time in this league if you can stay healthy and play a while. Six more yards is what they need here. Ford escapes again, and he's got a first down again. Eventually tripped up, but not before he gets inside the 40. Before the beginning of the game, in the first quarter, when he was running all over the place and putting pressure on the defense and would pay dividends. You see Coleman coming in there late, too. These guys got a beat on him. He's got a bone to pick with him. He's about the only guy with some speed that I think can match number two. And for the first time in forever, the Edmonton Elks win at home. Trey, the wait is over. You put an end to the 22 home game losing streak. How does it feel to be the quarterback that helped lead your team to victory here tonight? Uh, feels fantastic. I mean, hopefully one of many. Hopefully we can keep getting it and, you know, put ourselves in a chance to make playoffs. Seeing the way that this crowd and your teammates are reacting to this huge win, just what did it teach you guys to walk through this as a team? Uh, a lot. I mean, I think a big thing is us just sticking together. Um, I mean, last week when we were in Hamilton, offense stalled in the third quarter. Defense helped give us a spark, pick us up, and I feel like offensively today, we came out and we were able to play for four quarters, and then I thought the defense did a great job closing out the game. But uh, just playing together and moving forward as a team.